Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create six unique border designs for your Divi Gallery module images. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so what we're gonna be doing in this tutorial is since we're designing six different gallery types, it's a good idea that we first create a template that we work off of because this will save us time going back and forth and recreating all these layouts. All right, so let me show you how to create your template. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. Uh, we're just gonna give the page our name. Let's just call this unique border designs. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on use Divi Builder. Right, so for this, I'm gonna build from scratch and then we're just gonna need one column. So in this column, we're gonna add our gallery module. I'm gonna select it. Now we just need to add 12 images in here and the images I'm using are from the food layout pack, which I'll link to in the post uh, below. All right, so I'm just gonna add all my images, images now. Uh, and as I mentioned, they need to be 12. So these are not 12, I'm gonna go ahead and select. So right now by default, they'll be shown as four, but what you need to do is to come over here to image number and then change that to 12. Now they're all displayed. So the next thing we're gonna do now is to just remove uh, this text here. So we're gonna come to elements, show pagination no, and then show title and caption. We're gonna say no to that. Okay, so now that uh, we have our base uh, sort of like template that we're gonna be working with, I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then now to save this to the library, what we need to do is to click here on this. So to save this to the library, we're going to click on this little drop down button here and then I'm gonna click on it. And then here we can give it a name, we can call this um, gallery module template. Great, so, oh, in fact, let me make sure my spelling is right here. All right, so now that we've set all this, make sure you don't click on make this a global item, and then you just wanna go ahead now and save it to the library. So now we can reference this every time we start building our layout. So what we're gonna do now is just to test and see if this is working okay. So I'm gonna delete this, and then we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna click here on the single column, and then next I'm gonna click on add from library. And now we can see that our saved module is here. So I'm gonna click on it, and it's gonna load all our images. Next, we're gonna come over here to our section settings, click on background, and we're gonna give this background a light gray color, like that, so that when we add our borders here, they can really pop out. All right, so now that we've added that, we're gonna save this, click on row settings, design and then so what we're going to do here is to reduce the space between these uh, images and to do that we want to come over here to sizing click on use gutter width and we're going to set this to one now as i mentioned the gutter width is the distance between or the space between these images right so now that we set it to one we don't have any spaces between that so the next thing we need to do now is to save this and then we're gonna go into our module settings. So this time we want to actually show the, uh, the title and the caption. So we're gonna click here on yes. Now let's go and customize the font. So we're gonna click here on design. I'm gonna click on this brush tool to go ahead and customize our font. So here you can see it's uh, straight, uh, straight it's gone to heading three. So first of all, we're gonna make this all caps and then we're gonna set our text alignment to centered. And then over here, we're gonna add a line height because right now things are, things are not spaced out correctly. So for our line height, we're gonna uh, set it to 2 EM and now you can see we have a bit of space. Okay, so that's looking great. Now for our font weight, we also need to change this and set this to bold. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here to bold. Now the text size here, you can play around with this. I mean, if it's too small, if it's too big, you can just adjust this until you're happy with the size. So I think I'm just gonna leave this at 14 pixels. Right, so next we're going to um, add our settings to our borders. So I'm gonna scroll down here to border. So I'm gonna start with our image um, top border width, select it, and then I'm gonna add my value and this is gonna be 10 pixels. And we're gonna set our color to white. Next, let's go to our left border. So I'm gonna go ahead, activate that. Again, this is going to be 10. Our border is going to be white. We're gonna add our right border. Same thing as before, add our color and also the size, which is 10 pixels. So the next thing we need to do is to add the spacing between the images. So to do that, we're gonna come over here to border styles and just make sure we activate this one right here. And then the size is going to be 10 pixels. 
right? And then we are go also going to add a border color to that. So I'm going to come over here to this uh, eyedropper tool and paste our color in here. Notice that the color that I've just added matches the uh, background that we added here on the section. So now that we've added our border styles, the final thing we need to do is to go over here to the content, click on background, and then we're going to add a background color to this. So the color we're going to add here is just going to make sure that our text here has a white background. So I'm going to click here on white and now we can see we have our Polaroid design. So pretty much that's all we need to do. I'm going to go ahead now and save and this is our first design. So let's move on to our second design and our next design is just going to be a clean layout. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, click on regular and then we're going to add a single column. And as we did before, we're going to add this from the library. So I'm going to click on uh, insert from library and now we have our layout. Okay. So with this now, uh, the next thing we're going to do is to go into our row settings. I'm going to click here on row settings, click on design, sizing. And the first thing we're going to do, as we did before, is to get rid of the space between our images. So I'm going to click here on use gutter width, set this to one. And then we're going to come over here to our custom padding. Uh, and to do that, we need to come to spacing. Right. So here we, we, we want to add zero pixels to our custom padding, both to the top and the bottom like that and then we're going to go to our border style so i'm going to click here on border and uh, our border width here is going to be 10 pixels and we are going to add a color to this so the color we're going to add here is a light gray like that now if you want to use different colors you can go ahead and use different colors that match your brand and this is just a guide just to show you how to add this effect but if you want to use the exact same colors as i'm using throughout this tutorial i will leave a link to the post in the show notes below so that's all we need to do here in the row settings i'm going to go ahead and save now let's go to our gallery module settings so i'm going to click here on this gear icon click on design and the first thing we're going to do here is to add a border so i'm going to scroll down here to border, select it, and then we're going to set this to 20 pixels. Okay. Add my 20 here. And we're also going to add the color. So I'm going to add my color like that. And now everything now has a white background. Now, if you want to add a different color here, or you want a transparent color, you can always just choose here and this will be turned into a transparency. And uh, whatever color you have in the background of this section is what will show through. So it's all up to you what you want to do here. But in this case, it won't make a difference because white and transparency will have the same effect because I have a white background. Now, if we need color to show through this, what we need to do is to come over here to content, click on background, and this is where now we can add our color. So notice that now the color of the background is showing through because we've just added a transparency color in the previous step. Now, what you can do is we can also add a border to these images. So I'm just going to click here on this brush tool and this is going to take me to my border styles. And this is where we can add our border. So in this example here, let's add 10 pixels. All right. And then we can also change the color to white. And this is the clean effect that we've just created in a very few simple steps. So let's go ahead and save. Now let's move on to the third style. And this is creating a custom background image behind the entire gallery. Now this design allows you to make a background image to serve as a kind of texture background for the borders of your images. So let's go ahead and add a new section. So we're going to call it this regular single column and uh, we're going to add from the library and insert our gallery module. All right. So now that our gallery module has been added, as before, we just want to make sure there's no spaces between our images here. So I'm going to click here on my row settings, design, sizing, make sure our gutter width is set to one. And on the custom padding, we are going to set this to zero. So I'm going to scroll down here to spacing and make sure zero is added both to the top and the bottom and save. Next, we're going to come over here to our gallery module settings. Let's start by adding a border width. So I'm going to click here on design borders and we're going to set this to 10 pixels and we're going to set our color to our border color to white next we're going to come over here to contents and add a background image so for the background image i'm just going to add uh, any image here 
So I'm going to go with, um, all right, let's go with this one here. Upload an image. Now we won't be able to see this image yet. Next, I'm going to add a background color. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button and add my background color like that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add a CSS code here to, to our gallery. So we're going to go to our gallery item and add the CSS code. So what the CSS code is doing is, is it's just adding some padding of 3% to our image. So now you can see the effect that we have here in the background. Now what we can also do is to add a border around our images. So I'm going to click here on this little brush tool and this is going to take us straight to our border styles. And then over here we're going to add 10 pixels. And for our border uh, color, we're going to add this white to it. And now we can see we have a beautiful image in the background as well as our gallery. Now what we can also do here is uh, we can add a solid color or we can make it slightly transparent if you want to by playing around with the different settings over here. So let's say you add an image blend. So let's say you go to multiply. As you can see here, it's gone a little bit darker and you can also adjust the intensity over here where you add your colors. So let's say we add black and you want to add some transparency to it. You can just drag the slider down. And now, as you can see, it's showing just a little bit in the background. So this is how you can adjust how this area here looks. But if you want to just um, show the image as it is, you can just add a solid color like that and then save. So this is our final design. Now it's time to move on to the next one. So we're going to click here on this plus button, regular section, single column, add from library, and then we're going to add our gallery module. Right, so what we're going to do straight away here is to go to our row settings. This time we're going to make this row full width. So we're going to click here on design, sizing, and then here we can see the width is set to 80%. Set this to 100% and our max width here is also going to be 100%. Now for the gutter width, we're going to set this to 2. Now let's go to our gallery module settings. I'm going to save here. Click on this gear icon. Now in the gallery settings, I'm going to click here on design because the first thing we're going to do is to add a border. So we're going to come over here, click on border and our border width is going to be 10 pixels. And it's also gonna have a color, so we're gonna add white to this color here. So right now we won't see it because uh, we're still going to add a few more elements to this design. So what we're gonna do as we did before is to, to add some custom CSS to this. So I'm gonna come over here to, I mean, in fact, you need to click on advanced, and then you need to go to the gallery item and paste the CSS code. Now, if you wanna use the exact CSS code as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So the next stage now is to add a custom image that you want to add to the back of your images. So for now, I'm just going to save and then I am going to my media library. So I'm just going to um, save this page, go to my media library and just take a look at what image I could use. So I'm going to open this in a new tab, go to my library, and then I'm just going to take a look at any shapes that I may want to use for my design. So let's say I'm gonna go with uh, this shape right here. I'm gonna click on it. And then what you wanna do is to copy this URL. It's important that you copy the URL here. I'm gonna close this. And then back over here, let's go into our settings and let's go to that CSS code. Right, so over here on the custom CSS, this is where you want to paste your URL between the quotes like that. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's very subtle. You can see here, we've just introduced it there. It's very subtle. So that could be maybe the shape that we want to add to the background of our images. So all you have to do now is to save this. And then this is your quick preview. So this can be done with different types of shapes. You can even go into uh, a program like Photoshop and design your own custom shapes. But this is how you add the shape behind your image. Right, let's go on to the fifth design and this time we're going to design a box shadow and border combination. So we're going to click here on this plus button, regular, single column, and again we're going to add from the library, go ahead and add it from the library. And now we're going to go into the gallery settings and then we're going to scroll down here to design, 
border. Right, so our border here is going to be 10 pixels. So I'm just gonna make sure that this is my view. Right, so I'm gonna add my 10 pixels here and we're gonna make sure our border color is white. Now let's add an image box shadow. So I'm gonna scroll down here. So we need to locate box shadow. So I'm gonna click here on this brush tool and then over here now I can choose my box shadow and the one I'm gonna go with is this one right here. So I'm gonna select it and we're going to do quite a few customizations here in order for us to achieve our design. So let's start with our horizontal position. So for this, we are going to set it to minus 30. Our vertical position is also going to be minus 30. For the spread strength, we are going to set this to minus 10. And then we're gonna add our shadow color. So I'm gonna click here on this eyedropper tool. Now our color here is going to be a solid color. So I'm gonna drag this all the way up, move the transparency and then paste my color in here. Now over here on the blur strength, you can see here, we still have this blur here. We wanna make this as, so, as, a, uh, as a solid shape. So to do that, we want to reduce our blur strength all the way down to zero, okay? So that's looking much, much better now. Now I'm not sure what happened to my border here. So let's go back and add our border because we, if you recall, we set it to 10 and our color here was set to white. Okay, so now we have this unique shape that's happening on the top left of our design. All right, so now that we have this in place, uh, let's go ahead and um, make some more adjustments to this. So now let's add a border to the right. So I'm gonna click here and we're gonna set this to seven pixels and we're gonna add a border color. So this is going to be a gray color like that. But now we wanna make something totally different because for our border style, we've just been using solid things. So this time let's, let's add a dotted border. So now we can see we have a different style here to our border. Okay, so that's looking great. So uh, the next thing we're gonna do now is, we've so far we've added the right border and we've added the border style. So next we're gonna add the bottom border and we're also going to do the same. So let's come over here, add our bottom border, set this to seven, uh, set our color here. And for our style, we're gonna make this dotted as well. Now let's give this design a bit more room. So I'm just gonna save this and then I'm gonna go to my row settings, click on design, sizing and uh, basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make this full width and over here as well, we're gonna set this to 100%. So now we have enough space between our design. Now the next design and this is our final one, we are going to do a film strip border design. So let's save this design here and add our new one. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom here, click this plus button, regular single column and we're also going to uh, add this from the library. Okay, so very first thing we need to do here is to go to the row settings and then we're going to go into the uh, design tab and set our gutter width. So I'm gonna click here on sizing and for our gutter width, we're gonna set this to one. And again, this reduces the space between all our images. Now let's go to our gallery module settings. So I'm gonna save this, click here on my settings icon. So the first thing we're gonna do here is to go to our image settings. So we're gonna start here with the borders. So we're going to add a border to the right and the left. So I'm gonna click here on the right border, set my color, I mean my size, and this is going to be eight pixels, okay? Next, we're gonna add our color, and our color here is going to be a light gray. I'm gonna paste it in here, and our border style is going to be set to dashed. So I'm gonna come over here, set this to dashed. Right, so now that we have that all set, now let's do this, uh, the left border as well. I'm go ahead set this to eight pixels, add my color, and for my style, it's gonna be set to dashed. Right, so the next stage now is to add some borders. So I'm gonna come over here to border, and we're going to add left and right as well. And this time, we're gonna set this to 20, and our color here is going to be white. Do the same to the right here. Set my size to 20 and my color here is going to be white as well. Now let's add an image box shadow. So I'm gonna click here on this brush tool and then just scroll down to our box shadow here. So the style we're gonna go with is this one here. So I'm gonna select it. So let's start with our blur strength. So here we're gonna set this to zero. The spread strength, we're gonna set this to minus 10 and then we're gonna set the shadow color to a dark gray. So again, this is gonna be a solid color. So I'm just gonna make sure 
that there's no transparency in my settings. And then I want to add my color like that. Now we're going to add a background color. So let's go over here to our content, click on background, and then let's add our background color. Now this color here is going to be a dark gray like that. So as you can see here, our shape is beginning to look like a film strip. Now, all we need to do now is to add a bit of CSS code to our gallery item. So we're going to click here on advanced custom CSS and then add my CSS code here to my gallery item. And now you can see just by adding the CSS code, it has now transformed this design into a film strip. And also I'd like to mention that all these designs are mobile um, friendly. So if I click here, you can see that everything is looking great on mobile devices as well. So let's save this and take a look at our final design. So I'm gonna save this page and exit the visual builder. Right, so this is our first design. Let's move on to our second one. This is the clean one. And this is the one with the image in the background. The one with the shape. And finally, the film strip. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.